there's a little hole in right. the fence where uh, you can crawl through. I will go first. All right. And uh, she follows quickly behind you. What do you think they're going to look like? I don't know. They're talking about how they're supposed to be like, you know, 10 feet tall or something, which doesn't seem possible. I've never seen somebody that tall before. Have you? No, never. Oh. This is going to be cool. All right. Um, do we let them know we're here or do we try and like sneak a glimpse at them? I think we say hello because it's Rachel. It's the one that they've been after, but it, they make it sound like she's a, okay now. So I think it's fine. To... Didn't, didn't you say that she's the one who killed those people? She is. But they said she's better now. So... All right. As you sneak into the building, um, all of the windows and everything have been boarded up with like plywood. So mm -hmm. once you get in, it's like completely dark. Oh, it's really dark in here. Did you bring your flashlight? Mm hmm. OK, good. Charlie, they are now in you the building. What are you doing? going to follow them in like immediately or wait immediately all right so as soon as they enter the building you hear the door slam behind you wyatt and emily and emily's like ah uh i pull out my rifle <laughs> with your flashlight or just you pull out your rifle alone he's got the she's got the uh, flashlight, so. Oh, you gave it to her. I Sorry, I didn't hear you say that. Yeah. Um, And she, her hand starts shaking and she's at the ground and then she points it up and like, Charlie, you get like this super bright LED flashlight just beaming in your eyes. What, what do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Trying to make sure you don't kill yourself. That's a good way to get shot sneaking up on somebody like that. Hence why children shouldn't have guns. Hence why adults shouldn't, uh, you know, sneak up on you. Well, maybe next time if you don't sneak out, I won't have to. We weren't coming here to deal with you. We were coming here to do what we were supposed to do. So, hmm. Well, continue. I will make sure you don't get yourself killed. Well, it, considering... I mean, Wyatt... It might not be bad to have somebody who doesn't want us to die. That's true. Like, she but... did kill those two people. At she least did. two people. That's true. But they said she's alright now. You saw her last night? I did. I didn't. No, he was, she was talking to Charlie. Sorry. Oh. What does she look like? Can you introduce us? Are, are you friends with her? I wouldn't say we're friends. But I think I may be able to introduce you. Okay. Like right now? Sure. Uh, would I have any idea where they are in the facility? No, you just left her here, and Jason moves around. Rachel? Hello? Is that Rachel? Yeah. You doing okay? Yeah. Did you bring me the stuff? Uh... They're coming with it shortly. Oh, okay. Do you need something? We came to see if you were okay. Who's that? Um, I, I'm fine. 
because the last swift. time you uh, were around, there was kind of some uh, liquid nitrogen being used. He he's with us. He he can be trusted. I can assure you, there's no liquid nitrogen being used. Then how else were you putting uh, Frankie in ice? I don't know. This ch sounds like a child. Um, is that correct? Yeah, he no. kind of came here on his own. All right, let me find the blankets and then I can come out. She doesn't want to be indecent in front of children. Understandable. <laughs> Uh, so you hear movement through the house, or not house, through the mill, um, and eventually she comes out with two blankets wrapped around her, one kind of in a skirt fashion, uh, and then one as kind of like a top. Um, Wyatt, you see a woman who is almost eight feet tall um, with clear bluish skin you can see through her skin you can see like her skeletal system her muscle musculature system um and you can see like different nerves and things running through her body uh her eyes are slightly less red now than they were yesterday but they're still red but she has hair and she has uh like form to her hello um hi hi you look a little different than the last time i saw you yeah i um some stuff happened and this is how i am now i, I don't mean to ask an inappropriate question but do you currently feel the urge to rip anybody in half she just stares at you for a second. No. I, I'm so sorry. I mean, I just do deserve that, but... Um, you're see-through. Yes. Yes, I know. No, like, I can see your muscles and... Yes. I, I know. I'm Have you been exposed to radiation? I'm not that I'm aware of. Although I guess I don't know what the altar's made of, so maybe. That looks but if like that's what the... I've read about in books from radiation. But if that's the case, then your friend here would also start looking like me. But... Oh? I, um, I don't know how this happens. <laughs> Rachel, do you have any idea why Elias would have been in my room last night? Did you take something of his? We, when we first took him out of the forest, we took his research. Then that'd probably be why. Right now, he's in the nesting phase. He's going to find a place to bunker down. And he's going to bring anything that reminds him of his former self with him. The nesting phase so goes on for about... I don't know, a few months. Um, and then we'll be in the summer... And then next winter, he should be still kind of in the starting out phase. Um, maybe just a couple of jump scares here and there. But um, then things might go downhill after that.
I've had some time overnight to think. I didn't sleep at all last night. So I'm going over what happened with me. And I've come up with a few different phases. So first is transformation. So right now he's partially transformed. Um, which then results in the nesting phase. During the nesting phase, he will physically transform into the shape and form that I was. What you saw me as before. Um, sorry, I didn't get your name. I'm Emily. No. I'm Wyatt. Emily. Wyatt, that's the one I was meet. Oh, actually, no, I saw both of you, didn't I? Um, yeah. So, yes, that's known as the nesting phase to prepare your body and your mind to be the all powerful being that is what we were, what I uh, was. And then, then comes the time of growth. The growth phase is. After summer wanes and you're back to winter, it's time to grow yourself. And that is when you need to feed. And that comes from fear. So he's going to start small because just like a child, you start with smaller meals and slowly work your way up and then small meals don't really cut it anymore and then you need something more why i mean elias is pretty smart so he might end up kind of being like myself in the sense of trying to bring like-minded individuals towards the altar. But it's not going to happen right away. Eventually the charm of the altar wears off. You still, your mind is still affected. You still have that craving for more and more and more meals. By meals, of course, I mean the fear. But your mind is somewhat your own. In the sense of you can make your plans, you can make your plots, but the voices don't stop, you know? They never stop. But you can break through and you can decide, I don't want to be this anymore. And that's where I was in the last little bit. I still needed to feed and I feel terrible for it, but I, I needed to survive, but I wanted to stop. And I feel terrible that it had to be Elias, but he was already so far gone. He listened to the wind. No, he listened to me. You were the wind? <clears throat> were you the one I heard when I was in his house? Yes.
Is there anything else? No, we were just curious. Oh, have you tried taking a picture of your hand? No. Why? For documentation to see how it how it uh, heals. I mean, should I? I don't yeah. really want that sort of information out there. Well, don't you want to be able to see progress? From our experience, cameras and technology that come near you seem to stop functioning. I feel like that's something to do with the... I'm going to be honest here. The magic to do with the altar... Can you think of another explanation for this? It's not science by any means. Not science that we know of, at least. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's this magic. This is definitely starting to uh, um, push what uh, my understanding of reality. Oh, trust me, I'm right there with you. But, um... Yes, I... I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't know what sort of science could do this the only thing i can think of is maybe some sort of magic i uh, all of the evidence points to that not working so what are your theories uh, they've kind of all gone out the window, other than possible radiation. Radiation doesn't do this, Wyatt. Radiation yeah. will make your skin fall off, but it won't make it translucent. That's kind of where I, 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 that, yeah, that, you've got me. If, if it makes you feel any better, I have dedicated a lot of my life to scientific research, and everything I know says that I should not be like this. But here I am before you, looking like this. Yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm kind of at a loss. Anyway. Uh, we're going to go to the other group. Okay, so while... <clears throat> Likely, while they were walking, we'd be getting all this stuff done. Yeah. So, uh, we go to the grocery store and we buy a ton of stuff. Throw it in the back of the van. Non-perishable, I assume? Yeah. Okay. And then you drive out? Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Um, and... Likely just after they finish the conversation, we would enter. That's fair. <laughs> so you enter the building, and sure enough, there is uh, Emily, Wyatt, Charlie, and There's Rachel. There's a party. Well, what are you guys doing here? 
they tried to sneak out here on their own. Well, we would have brought you with us if you wanted to go. Anyway, uh, Rachel, we got we got a we bunch got of stuff, stuff for you here. Uh, that will work for you. And is Jason around too, or has anybody seen him? Or I'm sure he'll be around. I'll take the stuff that you got for him over here. Cause yeah, we've got some, we've got some stuff too. Cause I'm sure it gets pretty cold here at night. So. Charlie, Wyatt, you want to give us a hand unloading all the groceries, please? Yep. All right. Uh, sure. So we bring like a month's worth of groceries into the mill for them. A month's worth, hey? Well, it's a good start. Okay. I'm saying that's a lot. Um, oh, we just brought a lot of groceries. Well, there's two of them. There's too. only two people. And yes, yeah, but you're she's also eight feet tall. So. You're you're also in the Northwest Territories, which is very expensive for groceries. Yeah, it's not our money. Not our money. So. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, you're just charging everything to the the company. Tom loves us. Yeah, the expense report is going to be a fun fun time. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Jason is not coming out. Um, Rachel's okay. there though, and. He, She's like, this is very, way too much. Thank you very much. Well, we wanted to help out as much as we could. So, um, is it okay if I ask you a few questions? Or I, you guys are probably talking, so I'm not really sure. Um, I mean, what, I already sort of just what, went over a lot of stuff, but what do you... What are your questions? Okay, well, I don't know if you've talked to Jason or not, but was there any what like was there any huge amount of time between you and Jason? Like the altar had him, I'm assuming, for a while. I'm, I mean, no, I haven't really talked to him, but I was just talking to these three. And I was talking yeah. about the different phases. Um, right. It takes some time to get into the state you need to be in. Okay. But will it have made a difference that that uh, Elias was in contact with the with the altar before, so that he. Like, would it speed up at all with with him now because you drew him in or? No. No? Okay. I was in contact for the, eh. with the altar for quite some time before I finally chose to proceed. Okay. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't know whether we really talked to jason about how he got away from it like how he was able to pull himself away because of me okay but it seems to keep drawing you back though or no you don't you feel like you're done done no i I'm, I'm gone i'm not feeling that at all so, did you feel like you had any control when you were this, like, under its control? I'm sorry, I just had this conversation and... Oh, I'm but, sorry. Yes, um, there are times at a certain point that you break through and you have some control, but you still... Have the need for self-preservation as the monster. Like craving, yeah. 
So, yes. the creatures that we saw with you that killed those men, like helped kill those men, was that like an extension of you? Like, what, what was that? You gain control over ice and over darkness. And that includes once you've eaten enough is, I guess, the term I'll use for it. Consumed enough, your power begins to grow and the manifestations are possible. Okay. So, with with how that works so what are you just like a I know this is probably not even close to the correct term but like are you just like an energy vampire like you're just feeding on fear is that like is that what the feeding is yes okay so the men that you killed what was the point of that was that to scare us? As I us? was stating to them, yeah, it becomes not enough. And you need more and bigger amounts. And that's why I did what I did. Okay, so it's not just fear then. No, it is. That's the amount of fear that comes from people when they're faced with death is very different and bigger, stronger. It's like going from okay. eating a sandwich steak to Filet mignon. Okay. Will it disrupt his nesting phase if he cannot get access to anything from his old self? Um, likely not. But he will have to try and get something else. And what could that be? Just something to remind him. Um, like anything. It doesn't have to be his. Do you know of any way we could trap him? Um, not particularly, no. I, nobody ever did it to me. I knew I couldn't come out in the... Daytime was a struggle, and mm -hmm. when it was warm, not at all. Yeah, we kind of figured that from the incidents that were... It seemed to take place more in the winter when it was cold. So, how soon did it take for you to transform into this size? Like, it obviously it took a bit of time. It's like over but... time. And it depends on okay. the consumption rate. So we could still reach him, possibly. I don't think so, not at this stage. Okay. At this point, the pull is much too strong. Okay. So, my other question too, is there just a single host? Are you trying to get more like is it just hopping from one person to another was that talked about or no yes okay sorry uh, it's i realize I... you're repeating yourself no a lot yes um and it'd be nice if your friends would tell you but i guess i'll just repeat myself again um well we came into this a little bit later so well we were all supposed to be here at the same time but... yeah we didn't realize somebody was going to be sneaking off here on their own. Anyway. <clears throat> I... Well, what was your question again, sorry? Is there a single 
Oh, yes. Like, is it just a single once, host, or...? Once you get to a certain point, your true self can come out, but the voices are still there for needing consumption. The voices never leave. But you are able to think on your own. It becomes... I don't want to say boring, because it wasn't, but... The draw and allure of the altar starts to fade. And it becomes to a point of you want this to be gone, but you still need to feed. So I so what had a choice and I knew Elias was an option and I feel terrible for doing it. But Elias was the easiest one to get me out of this situation. So. Okay. So him trying to get me to touch the altar was just like him showing me the power of the altar. It wasn't, it wasn't just to try to, at that point, it was more, uh, a curiosity thing, I'm guessing. That'd be correct, yes. Okay. So, what I'm understanding then, Rachel, is that he doesn't have uh, all the abilities that you had quite yet. No. He would not have the same. So, uh, if we were going to try and put a stop to this, uh, the sooner the better. Correct. And were you, at what point were you able to, I don't know, I guess it was, tele, were you teleporting? What was, what were you manipulating there? You can bounce between the darkness if you stay in the shadows. Okay. Okay. And the thing that drew you in, because for me, and even from what I heard from Elias, it was the answers to different things. Was there answers that you were looking for? Did it, did it help you with your whatever you were looking for? See, and that's the thing now, isn't it? Now that I'm without it, all that information is gone. I know I had it. But it's like it took it with it. I only had it while I had access to the powers. It gives and takes away. Exactly. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll have to, I guess we'll have to talk some more to figure out because we got to stop this because if it escalates the way that it did with you people aren't safe so they aren't so this is I know that you're not wanting your sister to see you but did you want us to take a note or anything to her like let her know that you're alive that you're working on I don't know I don't know. I just, like I said, I'm, I know she, I know she misses you. I would love that. But then, but, what are you going to say? Then you'll be under accusation of doing something to me. Or she'll call you out as a liar. Yeah. Then she'll be like, I just, oh, have I you just been feel, I just feel bad. My sister kidnapped for all this time. Yeah. Like, there's no winning in that scenario. Because I know that she's, yeah. I know, really and I would will as soon as I can, but judging from Jason, unfortunately, no matter what, she's going to... It's going to cause problems if she sees me. 
Right. Uh, speaking on that topic, to... sorry, go ahead. I don't want you guys to come under fire for knowing my location and not bringing her to me. I'm, I'm All sorry. Right, on I, another... okay, yeah, go ahead. I don't know why the break was so long there. I didn't know if you were done. Yeah. Uh, on another topic then. Um, did anybody mention anything about uh, like teleport or teleporting trans? I'm not even using the right words. Helping you transform back. Has anybody, do you talk to Jason at all about that? No. Jason has not really spoken to me. Okay. He's been around um, for a long time, and I don't think um, being around people is his strong suit right now. Yeah, I can see that. Um, all right, we're going to check back with you as often as we can. Uh, keep track of yourself, and if there's anything that we can get you that can help you with that transformation back that you can think of let us know maybe we can help the transformation be complete do you know what i mean i do know what you mean but i'm i i have to think on it all right we got to go make plans to uh try and catch elias good luck thank you All right. So. All right, you guys. Let's go. Perfect. Okay. I don't know whether that was... Whether we got any more info than we kind of had figured ourselves. I was hoping that she could give us a little more... All that means is we're getting better at being detectives. Sure. <laughs> We're super detectives, yeah. I have an idea on how to trap Elias. He, to nest, he wants something of his old self, right? Right. And that's so, kind of why she figured he went to see you? Yeah, he came to me because I was the one who told him that we're taking his notes so he thinks I have his notes okay. so if we set up an environment that once we he's in that it is too warm and too light for him to be able to teleport out or him to be able to act he shouldn't be able to escape And we can well, lure is... him into it with his notes. That's a pretty good idea, Charlie. I think we could give that a try. It might work. Talk to a crowd tonight. What? Nothing. <laughs> so you guys uh, are are you heading back to the lodge then, or what? That's yeah, then we'll get things like. going. Okay. Um. All right. Um, so you're heading back to the lodge, uh, and then what are, what are you doing at the lodge? Uh, I think we could check in with Tom real quick and then, uh, cause it should still be fairly early, right? Yeah. And then our day, we could be planning our day or whatever. Cause yeah, we got to figure out what. Because 
Charlie said he's got some ideas to what how we can uh, I don't know I'm just trying to figure out because she couldn't come up with any ideas as to how to trap him correct <clears throat> no but she gave us lots of information that Charlie's using so it's perfect yeah okay so what what and is you're... what is your plan then Charlie for environment wise yeah game plan so the gas heaters come in they'll be the here Monday and what day is it it is Friday Saturday, Saturday I believe. Saturday yeah, Saturday. so it's got to wait until we have the gas heaters. Yeah, it hasn't even been a week since you guys started this investigation. Wow. So if we can somehow get him to know, if he comes back to me tonight, I can try to set it up, but that get him to know, like, I have your note. I know where your notes are. I don't have them now. Come here Monday night. And when he gets there, we turn on the gas heaters, heat up the area, and try to stop him from escaping. Does that sound like a plan to everybody? Yep. I don't have a better one at the moment. I've just kind of had my whole world rocked. <laughs> like what he thought was real is not real. Well, you were kind of living in denial there uh, for a bit, Wyatt, when we were telling you what we're actually seeing with our eyes, but now you got to see it, so hey, sometimes it's just a little longer to come around. I wouldn't call it denial. What would you call it then? <laughs> uh, they just uh, didn't know what they were seeing you were in denial that we knew what we were seeing y'all are a little loony <laughs> says the kid who thinks I'm a wizard he's like the, the jury's still out there you never know no convincing evidence has been presented to the contrary. Well, if this magic is real, why can't you be a wizard? <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Yeah. All right. It's not helping your case, you know. <laughs> so, uh, you guys have that all planned. Um, and I guess that's where we're going to call it tonight, because there's not much else going on at the moment. um so let's just do this quickly then did we conclude the current mystery no. no did we save someone from certain death or worse no yes well what's yes it's clearly about to die we convinced charlie to put on a different shirt Oops. worse than death did we, did we learn something new and important about the world? Yes. Okay. Potentially. Did we learn well, something? Well, we learned about the phases. Yeah. Yep. Did we learn something new and important about one of the hunters? Yes, Charlie is not a lizard. That has not been proven. Wyatt <laughs> learned that magic is real. Yes. Rocked his world. That's not something new, though. About the I was gonna him. say I that's not that can't that that doesn't count. That's not new about the hunter. For more multiple reasons. <clears throat> Alright. So you get to mark one experience, everyone. Did we get two last week? Yeah, no. yeah, I leveled up. You got one last week. Okay. Alright. Well, Another short game tonight, guys, but um, hey, at least we got one in, and uh, we will see you all next week. Hopefully Bye. everybody's feeling better. Bye. Uh, Bye, everybody. Bye. Namaste.